Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mad C here. So today I'm gonna talk about BMS, and both of them are 2s 20m BMS. I chose 2s BMS because it's the least number of cell in series, and we can explain it easily. If there is a choice, I would choose this BMS because in this BMS here we have two balancing units. I mean, this much is one unit. and this much is another unit so here we have two unit because it's a 2 sbms for two cells so in one unit we have a big register one transistor a 6 pin ic for monitoring the battery and some passive components but which is not present in this one Let's see what happen when we use the BMS without any balancing unit. Now every battery is different from another, and if we take two 2,500 mAh cell, now one should be slightly more cap in capacity than another one, and the problem comes here. When we discharge the battery, one battery will discharge faster, which has the less capacity, and whenever it reaches the low charge state the bms will cut off but still the battery with more capacity have some charge left in it and whenever we plug in the charger the battery which still have some capacity will charge faster and reach the full charge level before the another one and here the bms still cut off so one battery never fully charged and another one never fully discharged and let's see what happen if we use the proper bms so whenever one battery fully charges the bms start discharging that battery through a resistor until the another battery fully charges this is how it balance the batteries so make sure you have chose the right bms for your project or else the long term performance of your battery would be much poor thanks for watching guys do like share and subscribe to my channel for more updates